What's the optimal blood sugar? It isn't really less than 100. It's 70 to 85. Below 85, there's a system, uh, again, AMPK, SIRT1, uh, kind of anti-aging genes, basically acts at PPAR. These are just names. I'm just making a point that this is all a worked out mechanism. Okay? And what that does is says burn fat. And that's just the opposite of what you get with diabetes, which is store fat. And that reverses it because below 85, you stop putting out insulin because you're, you're, that's, that's the right blood sugar. So optimum blood, blood sugar is 70 to 85. And I'll show you a little bit of statistics in a little bit that you'll understand that really 86 and above, you're going to have 38% more stomach cancer. You're going to have approximately 50% more heart attacks and 25 more percent uh, heart failure and uh, stroke. Okay, and it gets worse the higher you go. So remember I said about the chronic degenerative syndrome, this is what I'm talking about. So even if you have quote normal blood sugar like 100 or 99, you're still moving in the direction. So at 100, and, uh, 100 to 105, you're going to have increased incidences of like uh, uh, heart disease, and diabetes, like 200, uh, blood sugar of 88, you're going to have a 287% increase in diabetes. So see the continuum and don't think, oh, it's less than 100, everything's cool. It isn't. The really, really optimum range is 70 to 85. And that's actually very important. And not a lot of people really understand how important that optimum range is. Now, I started out by explaining we have a, a world culture that's really living in crimes against wisdom. And you've heard some of the things. Okay, we're, we're looking at excess white flour, white sugar, junk food is your number one cause. Dr. Cleve clearly established that he was head of uh, the British Navy after World War II, went all over the world and just did all the statistics. And he wrote a book in 1975 called The Saccharine Disease. He nailed it, okay? And then after that, we're looking at people eat meat, fish, chicken, dairy, have 35 to 50% more diabetes. And some studies say even double. But this is 12 studies brought together it's the co by the Cochrane Group. It's, it's, I believe it's the most accurate statistic in, uh, on that question. So dairy is a problem. Um, TV watching. If you watch TV more than 19 hours a week, you are likely to have 150% more diabetes. They don't explain why. Are you eating, eating junk food? Are you not exercising? I don't know. They just said men who eat and watch 19 hours of TV will have 150% more diabetes. Okay? So uh, other things are peculiar things like certain antibiotics will destroy the beta cells of the pancreas. Um, and the list goes on, uh, stress, lack of exercise, low fiber diet, these are all things that are, are going to contribute. Uh, caffeine can do it, um, and those are another uh, piece. But I'm going to take us into um, talking about radiation. So I've kind of mapped out a variety of causes types of diabetes. So we have type 1 diabetes and we have type 2 diabetes, you know, non-insulin dependent, insulin dependent. Then we have type 3 which is gestational diabetes. Diabetes when you're pregnant, that can happen. Um, and, and I want to, you know, that is also reversible. I, I've had a variety of women who call me and like, oh, my blood sugar, I'm week 26, my blood sugar is just off the charts. And we put them on the phase one diet, which we'll talk about, and it reverses, and they, they have normal, healthy delivery. So this is, this is really good. So at any place, we can turn this around, even in the middle of pregnancy.